All right, Taylor Johnson reporting live. Uh, the Unicam is officially unpartisan. It's usually easy to know where state senators stand. Half of those Senate seats are on the ballot today. Dave Zavalinsky is tracking the balance of power and whether Republicans will be filibuster proof. Dave. Yeah, Aaron, John, just like the national picture, the margins are razor thin and in the Nebraska unicameral. Now, there are 49 members across 45 legislative districts across the state. The odd seats, 135, et cetera, are all up for re-election tonight. That's 25 of them. Realistically, 15 of them uh, may be flipped or maybe they won't be. But here's the thing. 33 is the key number for the Republicans in the nonpartisan uh, legis body, uh, body, government of body, I should say, because at 33, everything is filibuster proof. And that is what they had at the end of this last session, all thanks to Mike McDonald. He was the representative from De legislative district number four. Five. If you might recall, he was once a Democrat, but then flipped to be a Republican in April. So that gave the Republicans the 33 votes that they needed. Well, he's not running because he term limited out. Those running for his seat are Margot Juarez and Gilbert Ayala. Juarez is the Democrat here, whereas Ayala is the Republican. She currently has a healthy lead. It certainly looks like that seat will flip back to the Democratic side of the aisle. However, we go to District 13, which is in North Omaha. This was Justin Wayne. He cannot run because he term limited out. And it currently is razor thin margin between Nick Batter and Ashley Spivey. But Nick Batter is nonpartisan. He is not registered with a party while Spivey is registered with the Democrats. So they may lose one there. Other seats that we're keeping a very close eye on here tonight are legislative districts number 21. Incredibly close to call at this hour. That is north of Lincoln and Waverly. How about legislative district number 25, Carolyn Bozen? She's the incumbent and she's a Republican. But this is in just to the southeast side of Lincoln. And she is down, oh, by less than 50 votes. Too close to call. That the story of the night, both nationally and here locally in the state of Nebraska at the unicameral. We'll have to pay very close attention here in the days ahead to see if Republicans can maintain that all important 33 number for their party to be filibuster proof. Reporting live in the studio this evening, I'm Dave Zavolinsky, John Aaron. Let's send it back to you.